YouTube, VJ Colder here in the studio in response to a question that I had on one of my videos. How to get uh, my microphone, boom, RE20, bad mic right there, into my computer. Boom, MacBook Pro i7 processor, awesome computer right there. And it's actually uploading a video that uh, that uh, will be, should be going on uh, online here tomorrow morning hopefully but anyways so the key question here is how to get that guy into that guy and the answer is XLR and 2A I'm running the uh, Profire 2626 right there in my little case or you can get a condenser microphone with a USB cable that way you don't have to do all that little module junk there if you just want to run it straight in if you're doing garage band you're doing something simple and you want to keep it simple more power to you um, but to get a really good quality condenser mic in my opinion it's going to cost you a few hundred dollars uh, blue makes a pretty decent one um, so you can check those out guys online if you want right here I'm going to show you exactly how to do the whole XLR deer deal um, with uh, with my profile 2626 um, on the back of this thing it's got uh, several inputs XLR inputs and quarter inch inputs uh, for instruments and for microphones now I've got mine plugged into one I'm not going to show you the inside because it's dark in there and you're not going to be able to see anyways but I'm going to show you the outside here I'm going to turn my camera around and my studio is messy guys um, I'm, I'm assuming I'm talking to most guys here and I know that they're not all neat freaks I'm sure every once in a while you guys have a mess too so I know that you guys will deal with that but uh, here you got your uh, you got your different little uh, instrument inputs right here your quarter inch inputs all you do is you press that button switch it straight to the instrument input or if you keep that button out right here is my uh, volume my input volume for uh, my microphone that's plugged in here now down here this red little LED light uh, signifies that I have 48 volt phantom going from my 5 channel 5 to channel 8 inputs and that's because when I record guitar and sing at the same time I keep my, my dynamic mics plugged in up here 1 through 4 and my condenser mics plugged in from eight or 5 through 8 excuse me and uh, that makes it really nice that it separates it like that now most modules that you buy are only gonna have maybe one two four um, mic preamps you know inputs for the XLRs um, on one module um, but this guy right here has eight beautiful inputs for me to use that have specifically XLRs. Now it also has digital inputs and all that stuff, but I'm not going to get into that tonight. Uh, but it also makes it really nice. Uh, but this thing runs out FireWire into my FireWire input on my computer. Now this is really nice for me. It works smooth. It works the way that it's supposed to be uh, working, and, and that's what I love about it. Now if you don't want to drop five, six hundred dollars into a uh, to uh, some these have octane preamps but if you don't want to drop that kind of money into uh, into something like this you want to get something more simple because it's just you and you're not going to be playing a bunch of instruments you're just doing vocals you're a rapper or something like that you do freestyle uh, DJing or something like that definitely look and do your mic research on what you might need if you got lower end vocals um, like I was talking about earlier you definitely want to go with something like the RE20 now you're looking to spend like 380 bucks or something uh, is a pretty good price for one which yeah, I, I think is totally worth it maybe the SM7B which is around 349 or ish or something like that I've had one of those but I, I ditched it once I got this bad boy um, but definitely do your mic research uh, that makes a huge huge difference and then start looking at these guys um, you can go with something like the inbox mini or the fast track or something like that personas has a pretty nice one out right now it has quite a bit of inserts um, I can't remember exactly how many but I believe they use the octane uh, preamps also and I think that's more around like the 3 350 range uh, which might be more in your range but if you just want to go cheap check out eBay guys I shop all the time on eBay it's reliable um, you get great stuff on there for great prices I uh, have uh, an inbox mini myself that I used until I got empowered Pro Tools 9 now I can't use it so if you run like GarageBand something like that uh, inbox mini should work things like that definitely 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 do your research because you don't want to just take everything that I'm saying you know I could be totally just lying straight out of my teeth to all y'all right now but I'm not but uh, definitely do your research that way you know what you're getting into that way when you're asked a question about it or something like that you're gonna know and you're gonna be able to answer and when you're doing the setup you're gonna be able to set it up confidently and make sure you have it set up correctly 
All right, so uh, basically this thing, most of them have a left and a right XLR output. That's what you're going to run uh, into your, uh, maybe your monitor module, which I actually have up here. I'll show you that too, just in case you have some questions on that. And uh, this guy right here is a Personas, and uh, it's a monitor station. And look this thing up. It is pretty sharp, and I think they might actually have a new one out now. Uh, but this thing's pretty sharp. I got my LEDs underneath, so it kind of makes it a little hard to see. But uh, right here, it's got your four uh, headphone preamps. Oh, let me sit down here for you. And uh, your headphone outputs, and you can cue these right here by pressing this button. And then that way, if you have a studio booth, bam, studio booth. All you do is you press this talk button, and when you talk, it's going to go uh, to those outputs. Also on the back, there's some cues. There's uh, three main outputs, left and right, on each channel. Uh, that I use for there's one, there's two, and then a third. I actually have uh, some subs hooked up <clears throat> that are in these little cubby holes back here. Um, that's what I use, and that's how you activate these right here. There's one. That's my main speakers. Boom, and then my uh, subs are in the back there. And then for B, actually, I don't have anything on B right now. Uh, but anyways, it makes it really nice. This is my master volume fader right here. Um, you can change your auxiliary input, which there is a red and white in the back auxiliary input. That's how you can change the volume for that. Um, and uh, your Q output right here, this is how loud um, you're talking all that junk is. And then you can dim uh, your, your main output sound coming out of whatever you want to dim it out of. It doesn't matter. This thing's pretty neat. Um, definitely look into those two. This is a whole nother story, guys. Um, great great machine right here but uh, it's kinda pointless if you're only doing vocals and things like that but if you're interested in that let me know I'll happily do a review on it and give you some uh, heads up on it this is what I use for Pro Tools these are powered faders and it basically is just a uh, software mixer that works with my Pro Tools so uh, if you guys have any more questions definitely feel free to ask thanks again uh, Jizo Slip for uh, for asking me that question um, hopefully this what I said tonight helped a little bit if not, um, ask me another question, man. I, I, I'll do whatever I can to help you out. But uh, again, YouTube, it's always a pleasure. Um, rate, comment, subscribe to me, and uh, I'll do my best. Send me messages, and I'll get right back to you as soon as I can. Uh, Jesus Slip literally uh, sent me that message this evening. Whoop, wrong way. This evening. And uh, I'm doing a video for him tonight, and I'm going to try to have it uploaded for him tonight, too. That way, tomorrow he's going to be able to, uh, to watch this and be able to uh, hopefully gain some knowledge on uh, how to get those bad boys into the computer. So, it's always a pleasure. DJ Colder here, posting this video, and I'm going to bed. I got class in the morning. Peace out, guys.